You know a Freddy Calhoun? Sure, I know Freddy. Freddy needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can... Has he said how much it's going to cost? Fifty bucks. And the department will front me the fifty? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. What is up, guys? It's your boy, Big Is, and welcome back to another episode of L.A. Noir. Roy's informant is the skittish type. Remastered. In the last episode, we we completed our first vice cop case, and now and we found a lot of syringes in like blocks of ice. And as a result, it led us to a guy who was running an ice company. I think it was named, what, Lenny the Fink? I think that's what his name was. Lenny Lenny the Fink. And now we're starting up a new case. A new case. If you saw that cutscene, it was a little teaser from last episode. So, before we get right into this video, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. To stay notified for all of my latest gameplay uploads. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. Do they think I made of money? No, you just look like you're made of money. Oh, very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be pleased with. Do you ever listen to yourself? I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. So I'm guessing we gotta get out. Where do we have to get out? Do we get out over here? Nope. Then you go down this hallway and oh, okay. So here, this is the way out. So I was like, where where do we get out of this place? But now I found it. So we're going to a new location, and you already know I gotta let him drive. You know the way. You can drive. So we're showing up at a bar so his informant is inside then. Let's see. There's a little snake. That's him in the back. Oh, he's up. All the way in the back. Okay, let's go. Freddy, you're looking good. You're going to help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? It's stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. <laughs> Be careful. He likes guns. How do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. <laughs> Let's go visit this cruise character. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. 50 pounds of that marijuana cheese, homies. That's some BS right there, man. But at least he gave us some good details on where, who to talk to. So we're going to the next location, Juan Garcia Cruz's residence. All right, that's the next place we're gonna go, and you already know I'm gonna let my boy Roy here drive his fancy car. You're behind the wheel. You believe his story? Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score. Oh snap, they're we're waiting for us. Oh call for help. I'll try and find a way in. They were definitely waiting for us and he has a an auto a semi-automatic. Oh 
Oh no, I had to get out of that spot. Oh my goodness. I gotta get out. Get get out. Get out of that spot. No. Oh no, I shouldn't get oh okay, so I, I kinda know not to get out of that spot. I can't really skip this cutscene, so. But now I know I have to go cross through and not get out of the spot, or otherwise I'll get shot down. Okay, that makes sense. Call for help. I'll try to find a way in. Gotta move, gotta move. Get out, of, get out of that spot. I need another gun. Yeah, we need, we need to get another gun out here. Oh, this is definitely where we're gonna take. What? It didn't let me select the gun. All right, yep. All right, there we go. Now I select the gun. All right, so we gotta find another way in. Do some parkour. All right, we're gonna go around the back. Can I open this door? I think I can. All right, take this corner. That's the kitchen. Okay. Run, run to the side. Oh God! No! He just ran in there. Yeah, I'm gonna skip that action sequence so I know. Oh no! Ah, oh, I should not have skipped it. Oh, that's my fault. to move on. Next time I won't be so nice. Oh, that was my fault, homies. You guys don't have to leave a mess. What happened? Dope peddler, Juan Cruz. You open fire and, you know, the rest of the story tells itself. That was my fault. I was like, I thought he would skip the sequence as, like, me not trying to shoot what you did, but, like, I expected it to, like, start again. Oh, I really wanted to fight, but... It is what it is. Like, I skipped it, I skipped it. Let's check on his body, of course. Anything? Nothing on his face. Left a heck of a mess. I think maybe I might end up blocking certain scenes. I think I might end up doing that because he definitely looks a little brutal based on how he looks. He doesn't have anything to go on. Anything in his jacket? Oh, there is something in his jacket. A silver dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. He has a silver dollar in his jacket. That's interesting. Why would he have a sil silver dollar? Of course, we found his wallet. Definitely Juan Garcia Cruz. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. It definitely looked like a front. It didn't look like a home base or anything. So that's his wallet. And I think... Is there anything else? Nope. I think we're good from here. There's something in here. No, that's just a bottle. Not much help. There's a lot of, like, tomato soup boxes around. That's a little, little suspicious. Oh no, he's telling me the bottle. Alright, let's look around the kitchen. Oh, something's here. Doesn't tell me anything. Just an ammo box. Nothing crazy. 
Oh, there's a ledger book here. What's in here? Oh, these are drawings. Okay, I'm not to change the page. There's nothing for me to click on. I mean, there is, there is, but nothing, nothing there. We have a dictionary book. Junk. Just junk. Okay. So nothing in the kitchen is out at a place. Oh, something, something shaking. Oh. Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. Yeah, I, I noticed there was a bunch of tomato soup boxes laying around in this house. This guy has a lot of them in this house. That's interesting. Any rooms over here? Oh yeah, there's some... There's a revolver down here. Optimistic, Cole. They had a lot of guns in here. So they were prepared for any cops. That's crazy. I doubt it. Nothing too interesting. Anything over here? Nope. So there's nothing in this room besides all those tomato tomato um soup boxes. Whoa, what's this? There's a newspaper right here. What are we looking for? Oh right here. These are the guys keeping Juan so well stocked with soup. 20th century market. Which they're promoting those soup cans. Interesting enough. I did saw a garage door that you can open when we were trying to come over here in the back. Which like I gotta say it was my fault for skipping that sequence because I really wanted to fight this guy. That was my fault right there. But you kinda just used the pistol. Oh, he has a shelf full of stuff here. Probably not. Oh, that's like a corn, corn mash or something. I don't know what that is. This doesn't pertain to the case. But it says investigate further. Oh, just a bunch of bolts. So that's pretty much nothing to go on. So that those are nothing. Can we go over here on this side? I don't think so. Bunch of nails, nothing too crazy. There's a... F Whoa! Oh! Now we're getting somewhere. But before, before I go continue, I'm just going to look into other stuff here first. Ha! Huh. Phelps! You jump like a girl. <laughs> One of those like prank looking sugar cans looks like flower cans. That's something. Nothing significant. Nothing significant, of course. Let me check right here. Just gonna cover all my bases first. More bolts. Nothing too crazy in that one. Let's look in here. More bolts. Nothing. Nothing too crazy besides a secret room that we just opened. I was just going down the line. Means much. But the fact we found a secret room explains a lot. So we're going to go right in. More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? That's what we're investigating, Roy. Press X to use the can opener. It's open. Oh! I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. They've been keeping that marijuana inside, inside of soup cans. My goodness. 
Another one I want to open. Let me open this one. Oh, they even have more of them. And I earned a trophy. Soup in the pot. Man, they can keep in a lot of this marijuana stuff in cans. Wow. That's something. Now then, I saw there's a ledger right here. Parnell Soup Company Delivery Ledger. Let's look. Wanted. We need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? That's what we're going to look at. And I've seen Tijuana so many times, it looks like. Oh, yeah, this is definitely the Tijuana one. Yeah. We're going to, I think it's the Tijuana because they're, they're getting $2,000 of 50 pounds. Why would you spend that much money? And then some guy named EJ. Wait, it's not him? Let me see. I still think it's the Tijuana one, but... This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. Dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those f***ers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. This music is still playing, though. Is there anyone else that we should know of? Mm, nothing too much, though. I think the ledger's done. Music is still playing. I'm trying to cover everything. So this this person has been spending two grand on some marijuana cheese, homies. Man, two grand. That is mental. Well, anyways, music is still playing. Is there anything I missed out here that I don't know? There's another sh like looking house looking shed right here, but you can't go through there. Music still playing. Still playing. What am I missing? I'm looking around. Trying to look around to see what am I missing. I'm missing something because the music is still playing. These beds are old. Looking around here. I mean, I looked up this book already, but it doesn't. It doesn't give me much. I already looked at that dictionary. What am I missing? Is it something in the shed that I'm still missing? Because the music is still playing. Is this the calendar? Nope. Looked at the book. Looking around. Don't know what we're missing. We're missing something. Just being silent because I'm trying to think what am I missing? Clothes on the ground, but nothing too significant. Anything in the refrigerator? I mean, I picked this up already. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Doesn't give me anything to go on. I'm trying to think. Picked up the gun. I mean, it gave me more of the, this, but it didn't stop the music. I'm trying to think, what am I missing that I'm not looking at? I already looked at this. Oh, there's a note right here. Is this a drug or a 
village in Borneo. Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. Kinda looks gibberish, I guess. I don't know. Oh, that's all of it. The music stopped, and that was the only thing that was missing. I think so. We're now done here. We're gonna head up to our next location. Um, the soup company or the 20th century market. I'm gonna go actually to the market first before we head to the soup company. Definitely in the next video, we're gonna go check out that soup market, but that's gonna be the next place we're going. Oh wait, but I, I remember there was a telephone to use before we make our move. Can we still use that telephone? No? Oh. I thought there was like a telephone for something, but apparently not. Let's just head to the next location. I'm gonna do a little parkour. Next location. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Brother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot-tempered son of a... Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. Now we're gonna go right in. LAPD, nobody move! I'll take my chances. Oh, that guy's running! That guy is running from us. High fire. I got another trophy in this video, homies. But this guy is not that fast. Look at this man. Dude, he, he's going to get tackled easy. He can't even run. <laughs> he can't run. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. He had a small baggie of marijuana in his pocket. That's some BS right there, man. That's crazy. You can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you. But I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Giving us his wallet. <laughs> Sanchez Erto, Mexican. Tijuana address. Ah, Boblo Mexican right here, man. Man, that it, it's a Spanish ID too, and he got some cash too. No, nothing on the cash. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. Ooh, Cole's threatening him with it. He's threatening. All right, so Arnito Sanchez, store clerk at the 20th Century Market. So what's his knowledge of EJ? Because EJ has been buying a lot, a lot of grass, man. He's been buying a lot of them. A lot of grass that he has, you know. 
Let's ask him. Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run this shop. That's all I do. Oh, yeah, he's lying. <laughs> he's definitely lying, man. Like, look at him. He says he runs the shop and that's all he does, but he literally had a bag of grass inside of him, man. <laughs> that's hilarious, man. That is definitely hilarious. I don't know what... I, ah, man. Do I accuse him? Or do I go back cop? Huh? Because I don't know if I have the evidence to accuse him. Because I only have five things. Hmm. Very interesting. Let me check to see how he reacts if I accuse. Tell me the goddamn truth. You are in this with the others. I told you I know them. I told you my family is at risk. What makes me part of their gang? Hmm. That didn't really give me much. I'm trying to think. Because we did found, like, soup cans. But I don't think I can accuse him with that. But, I mean, we also found 50 pounds of marijuana shipment coming regularly from T1 under the name EJ. Juan Garcia Cruz, no. Oh man, this one's tough because I don't have a tuition. I don't have a, a tuition to, to see what could be right or wrong. Please? May I go, officer? But I can't hit him because this question is about his knowledge with EJ and I can't accuse him with the with the shipment, dope shipping. So I think I gotta back out here and go back cop on him. You're off the hook for now. So you know what? I'm gonna hit him with back cop. Hopefully he's right. Start talking, Erto. I want the names of everyone involved. What difference does it make what I tell you? I'm still going to jail, no? Oh, wow. So I should have hit him with the Tijuana dope shipments. Man, this game is confusing. So let's ask him about the Paranel soup shipments. Because we found soup cans with that brain containing bags of marijuana. I want to see what he knows about that. Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular, as you can see. The soup is very popular, as you can see. But, oh, oh! You already know I gotta accuse him because inside of the soup cans contains these baggies of marijuana. So I have to accuse. This is easy. I think you're the connection on the Mexican side. I think you're more than you like to make out. So now I'm the big man in this? Well, we found the can, so I gotta accuse him with this. Hopefully, he's right. I have big dreams. I want to make enough to bring my family over. Don't stand in my way, policeman. You're going to jail, Erto. Our jails may be nicer than what you could expect in Mexico, but I could tie you up in red tape for years. I don't get this game, homies. I'll see you guys in the next video.